tray loaded up. We're going to go out here and see if we can't get on a management there this afternoon. But man, is it hot. So, y'all come go with us. All right, Charles, we'll see you. Good luck. Just put my phone down from seeing what time. Yeah, like what was the last shooting light? We didn't I didn't see a deer in here Saturday until five after seven. And what time is it now? It's five seventeen. <sighs> Man. Yeah, maybe there is something. What do you call it? The red moon? The red moon phase. Yeah. He came in behind us. Mark said, Don't move. He comes in here and stops. And uh he makes us great, messes around a little bit, comes right around, coming straight to that draw. I didn't give him time to stick his nose in it. Wow, that's incredible. Man, appreciate it, man. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I wish they were all that easy. Yeah, for sure. Shoot one. Had everything but the 
right there. Really? Yeah. Hey, we got back to the back to the cleaning shed. Got got Charles. He saw a bunch of deer too. Um, we're gonna run back in here and pick up a trail. See what we got. Standing right there. Yeah, they're standing right here. Let's turn on the tracker. See how far we get in. So he's standing like right here facing me. Uh, I'm gonna stand there. And he went this way. Oh shoot, there's my knock right there. Further back than I thought. I think you ran into that tree right there. about a week ago swapped over to roaster racks. Typically he gets corn in bulk um, and then during both season swaps over well, he's a little bit late on the transition this year. They did a <clears throat> did a survey early in the season uh, right before season. Came up with the buck to the ratio I was talking about earlier and since then a week ago swapped a rack, roasted racks and he has figured out that bunches of deer that weren't even on his survey showed up to cameras. We were talking about where to hunt Saturday, and he was he just didn't know where to put people because deer like this, just several different deer had showed up at six or seven different cameras that he just never seen. So it's an awesome tool to use. And then we get here, the roaster day done sat there and cleaned out that feeder. When did you fill that up? Uh, two days ago. Yeah, that's nuts. But it's already empty. 250 pounds gone. And then, uh, so we just poured poured draw in the trough, and then I poured a pile right out front. And he was just before sticking his head in it. I didn't give him opportunity today. So, uh, man, that's awesome. Glad I got the M that MLX. I'll get him out of here. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. That's fun. <clears throat> that is fun.
go. Crank her up. <laughs> she goes, well, not really. <laughs> That's the love I get. 215? Mm. Really close. I'm trying to undershoot it a little bit. Say 228. Ooh. Strong. I didn't lift it, though. <laughs> it's cool. I wish awesome. I killed it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I've only killed an eight pointer in my life. You'll have a chance. Much bigger than my deer. Hold them legs right there. Thank you. Yeah, I hope one. You ready? Wrap it. Charles, you hold them horns? Uh, I think it's one. Two twenty ranges. Two thirty. We were all wrong. Two forty nine. You. Lizzie was closer. Yeah. What was it? Two forty nine. Um, man, just a perfect deer to take out of the out of the mix. Testament to good nutrition and age, but overpopulation. So we're gonna we're gonna get these these buck numbers down and uh, take some of the stress stress off. We appreciate y'all watching.